Dame, guess what? I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. And when I'm hungry, I eat stuff. I've realised that recently, eating stuff can be cheap, but still good for you, if that makes sense. So rather than buying lots of processed stuff, um, just buy stuff that's meat. So here we've got a uh, crackling pork loin joint. It's already been uh, prepared, as you can see. Um, it's hand finished with black pepper and scored for crispy crackling. Uh, it's United Kingdom pork as well, serves four, and it was on offer. As you can see, it was uh, three pound from five pound. Is that better? Yeah, three pound from five pound. Um, we've got instructions uh, on the bottom, which basically, gas mark seven for one hour and 10 minutes. So all the instructions are there, you can see. Cooking instructions, blah, 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 blah. Ingredients, pork loin, uh, black pepper, demerara sugar, sea salt, sunflower oil, uh, made using British EU pork. Uh, see front of pack for uh, country of origin, which we've got there, United Kingdom. So what we're gonna do is, put that one away. lid off. And we're going to pop it in the oven down there. And we'll be back in an hour and 15 minutes or thereabouts. Give or take an hour or maybe two hours because I haven't seen the oven. I've just realised I mean, you need to put the oven on first before you do this. So oops. Anyway, don't do as I do. Do as I say. See you in a bit. Now obviously you need to have something with your uh, roast pork when it's done. So halfway through cooking, get yourselves a potato and just chop it up into evenish sizes. You don't want to make them too chunky. Again, I leave the skin on because I think it gives it a bit more flavour. But obviously if you want to peel them, you can peel them. But that would make you a nutter. Um, <laughs> joking. Personal preference. So, so once you've done the potatoes, all similar size, so they cook roughly at the same time. Um, add your water, a bit of salt, stick it on the pan, on the oven, and um, boil away for a while. Um, and in the meantime, just before they're cooked, uh, get your frozen peas, which are here, and um, stick them in for the last two or three minutes uh, because they don't take long to cook. So you don't put them in until you've actually cooked your potatoes. Easy cooking this, isn't it? Even you can do it. Right, so the uh, pork has been cooking for a while now, and we are able to take it out of the container it's in. Let it rest as well, which is basically just leave it out of the oven for a few moments. So there you go. That is your pork done and dusted. And then you slice it. Now, that looks like a piece of bacon, doesn't it, really? So you would think you'd slice it that way, but I don't think it'll slice that way, to be honest. Maybe it will. It's alive. It's juicy though. Put that on that. It's a bit fat that piece, but it'll do. Give it to a thinner piece. That with the kids a bit. There you go. So you've got your pork on your plate. Now you get your potatoes and your peas, which, as I said before, I put in at the last minute. It's only one potato I put on, but crikey, it's gone a long way. Now you might want gravy with that. So if you want gravy, you put the kettle on, don't you? Well, no, you don't, because you've already got boiling water. So you get your cup, get a bit of gravy, not a lot. Get your fork, and let's just, oops, use the uh, hot water. 
smell the gravy. And chuck in some of your juices as well from your meat. So you get the full flavour then. So there's your gravy. You just pour it on. And there you go. A roast dinner. Made very, very quickly indeed. But no hassle whatsoever. What does it taste like? So there's our roast dinner. All lovely and steaming hot. What does it taste like? We'll go for the veggies and the gravy. The gravy's got that kick because we put the um, juices in it. Pork is really tender. That cuts very easily indeed. Bit of the crackling. It's good stuff. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And do some more recipes in the future in 4K. 4K, 4K. Till then. Bye.